How's it going? How are you? I hope you're doing well. Thank you so much for giving me a few minutes of your time to check out where I am with the Kat Von D. Maybe it'll look a Remix palette. I feel good. I feel like I've kind of gotten into my painting groove. I know what I'm doing. I'm just kind of getting back to a little bit more of like old school painting amber. You know what I mean? Like it's just, I, I, I feel like I'm in a good place. So let me show you where I was with my palette back in the month of June because there have been quite a few changes um, to the palette in a good way for me being able to use up some more and then we'll talk about where the palette is right now. Okay, as you can see, lots and lots of changes. I'm really in love with the colors of this palette at the moment. It's not a um, not a chore to reach for this every day. I'm finding a lot of versatility in it, especially down here. This shade Legend. I really didn't think I was going to like this shade out of this palette, but it has been one that I found a lot of functionality. Um, pairing it with cool tone looks. In fact, I'll go on and link my cool tone look that I wore for the month of June, early part of July up in the card above as well as the description box below. I'm currently wearing it with this warm tone smoky eye inspired by the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette, which I still need to upload that video, but life has been very crazy busy. I'm in the process of um, getting back into going to school. And so it's, it, you know, a lot has been kind of getting in the way of me filming, but I promise it's coming. So um, going on that note, the Legend has been something that I've worn every single day. I'm really loving it, enjoying it. I've also done my best to incorporate as many of the other shades from this palette as I possibly can. I think at this point I'm working on seven, six or seven shades. So the most recently finished shade was the Skulls. It was a really intense shimmery white eyeshadow. Um, I paired it with Muse up here. Um, this really pretty lilac shade to wear as an inner corner highlight as well as my brow bone and a face highlight. Since I finished Skulls, I have moved into using Snow from the Lorac Pro 2 palette because they behave quite similarly. So it's giving me some incentive to go into other shimmery whites in my collection, which bonus because it was a shadow that I wasn't just drawn to. Um, initially, in fact, I thought I really wasn't going to like it, but I, I see a place for it at this point. It's not something I would necessarily go out and purchase a single of on my own, um, but I, I see the versatility in it, including a shade like that in the palette. Then another two shades that I'm multitasking are Swoon and Destroyer right here. I am currently wearing them as a blush. I really love that combination. I thought, you know, I've made some Franken shadows with um, more of Swoon than I did of Destroyer, so I thought it'd be a nice way to kind of polish off that shade and really give me an intense summery looking blush before we get into more fall inspired makeup. Um, I've also gotten a ton of use out of Echo over here. I wear it every single day on my lower lash line over a Maybelline waterproof gel pencil and polished amethyst. I've worn it with that cool tone look that I talked about just a minute ago. I wear it with this warm toned look on my lower lash line. It's just a very beautiful combination and it's the best way that I like this shadow. I'm not really keen of wearing it on my lid because there is a lot of fallout and I really am not a fan of it in my crease because it kind of looks a little strange. Maybe I haven't found the perfect combination yet. I'm still kind of trying to play around with it and see about maybe making more of a cool toned um, purple vibe since that is kind of coming into more of a trend in, uh, versus the warm shadows. But I just haven't found my ideal way other than the lower lash line that I really like that particular formula of shadow. Another one that I'm making huge progress on is also black metal. I wear it in my outer um, third to really kind of give me a little bit of a winged effect. Um, to my liner and then I also set my liner with it as well um, for the hashtag it's been emotional project pan so really I've been getting a ton of use out of this palette it's been going really well um, uh, oh the other shade I forgot to talk about analog down here I love warming up my crease with this particular orange it works really really well it's super easy again it's kind of a shade that I prefer best to warm up creases it's not really a shade that I find the most flattering for my skin tone to wear it on my lid or to wear it in my crease because I've tried pairing it with some ColourPop shadows I've tried pairing it with some other brightly colored shadows for my collection and it's just it's it's okay but it's it's just not my my thing that I just get excited about using and so um really for me wearing it in my crease has been a game changer because now 
it does make me want to continue incorporating orange into my um, Holy Grail makeup collection. So that was a really fun find out of this palette as well. So I'm going to continue working on it. I'm feeling good about it. I feel like I'm going to be able to make um, a lot of progress. Um, I've really been getting a lot of use as well out of my Lorac Makeup Pro palette. So if you're interested in kind of my progress on that, be on the lookout for my monthly makeup bags because I'm going to continue including it um, for the rest of the year because I think it might be kind of fun to see if I can finish off that palette as well. So going back to the Kat Von D palette, I really do think that by the end of July, maybe early August, I think I could probably finish off Swoon very realistically using it as a blush on a daily basis. I also, I don't think I'm going to finish anything else. I mean, black metal is starting to get a little bit more powdery, so it's a little bit easier to use, but since I'm only using it in my outer corner and then on my lash line, it is going to take me a long time to go through that shadow. And Legend, I don't know. I, I don't know. Um, it is a very densely packed shadow, considering her shimmers can kind of be all over the place with the formula. They're not necessarily consistent, but I'm keeping in mind this is an older palette, but I don't know. I don't think I'd be able to finish it by the end of July, but I'm thinking about going on and phasing it into August as well um, with another type of look using Harpsichord, um, Apricot from my Lorac Mega Pro palette, and then I don't know, maybe branching into Hyper Ballad. Hyper Ballad's been another one that I've really kind of wanted to to dabble with and give a lot of love to lately. So I'm also kind of debating about putting this with like an olive green and a silver and a blue to kind of make a makeup look for August. So I don't know, it's gonna kind of depend on where I am with my hashtag. Um, it's been emotional project pan items as well because that does kind of dictate the look that I'm kind of reaching for. So, but otherwise it's been good. Like I said, I'm really enjoying the palette. I hope that you are enjoying yours just as well um, and that you are having fun rediscovering some glorious makeup products in your um, makeup collection. I know it's been a lot of fun for me. In fact, I've really been debating about it. I'm going to go on and include Jessica's video up here. And in the description box below, she talked about her tips that have gotten her through not just a year of no buy, but beyond a year. And so I'm really inspired by a lot of the um, tactics that she uses. And I think I might try to do, I don't know if, I don't know if I should call it a no buy because putting, I, I mean, I did a no buy a couple of years ago. Um, and it was it was pretty good, but I still did not make it the full time. Maybe I ought to call it like a makeup detox. I don't know. Comment in the description box below because I, like I said, I, I've just been thinking about it because like I said, I, I'm getting ready to go back to school. Um, I'm going to have a very busy, like, life is already really crazy, but you know, my schedule is going to get even absolutely insane. And so I really think that now would be an ideal time for me to kind of take a step back, really enjoy my makeup collection and kind of see how much I can use up without necessarily putting it of like, I can't buy more makeup until I pan things. You know what I mean? So I don't know. I don't know. Let me know what you think in the description box below. So thank you once again for giving me a few minutes of your time. Um, hashtag project pan update or ha <laughs> hashtag <laughs> it's been emotional project pan update is going to be following. And then I promise that get ready with me is coming for this particular eye look. Cause I got to tell you, I've been loving, loving this look. And if you're wanting to make some progress with your Lorac Mega Pro palette, Mulberry is like the star of this look. I, I enjoyed wearing this shade on an everyday basis. So I hope that you will love it as much as I do and get some use out of it as well. So that's about it. Take care. And I look forward to catching up with you soon. See you later.